Before we even delve deep in what has played out within the corridors of justice, we agree and we acknowledge the fact that every other issue in the country and every other issue that has been contested or maybe would want proper interpretation will always land itself in the courts. <coughs> and of course, what playing, uh, what is playing right now in regards to matters of politics and also the question of corruption towards the last bit of that piece, I, I think I'd love to hear what you to have to say in regards to first of all the question of devolution and where it places the fight against corruption because then the biggest talk as it stands right now is one what of course uh, the Secretary General of Jubilee Party said that the, within the Jubilee Party, of course, uh, elections, they're not going to allow leaders who've been named as corrupt leaders to proceed and, of course, vibe. And that aside, also, we talk about the question of governance and, uh, you know, whether indeed they should get immunity, as, of course, they claim or as they would ask for, and whether it should go to that point whereby there's be, uh, they, 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 they should be more interpretation of the laws. Uh, the other day, of course, there was that uphold of the ruling that, of course, they should be barred from accessing their offices. And moving forward, they, it seems like they're not happy about that. The DPP himself saying that, of course, all governors are on the radio and they should stay woke because then uh, the wills of justice will come rolling down on them. So when we look at what has played out at the level of the corridors of justice in addressing the issues of corruption, do you suppose then that we have done right? Or is it true that, uh, of course, the claims that have been leveled against them, that they have been the missing link on the fight against corruption, are equally true? <coughs> I'll go in first. Mm -hmm. I will first <coughs> say that I'm most grateful for being hosted here once again. It was a pleasure. Um, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I know, <laughs> we are crossing by faith. There's no question about that. Yeah. Well, um, I would say that the judiciary has done tremendously well mm -hmm. under extremely difficult circumstances because you realize that uh, while we have, the judiciary has attempted to expand, mm -hmm. to open up new stations, to enhance access to justice, yeah. as envisaged in Article uh, 159, mm -hmm you realize that the executive has wanted to play favorites mm -hmm. and it has attempted both uh, by design mm -hmm. and by default to frustrate, uh, to slam breaks on the works of the judiciary. Right. For instance, uh, in the last financial year, we are all aware that the executive, or there was budget cuts that First, the executive, uh, the judiciary. The judiciary, yes. And of course, that slowed down the uh, the work of the judiciary mm -hmm. tremendously. Mm. For instance, a number of uh, a number of uh, tribunals were therefore unable to sit mm -hmm. and dispense justice. Uh, in spite of all these, you realize that the judiciary has pronounced itself beautifully on a number of matters touching on corruption. Mm. For instance, when Governor Lenal Kulal was taken to court, mm. it uh, Honorable Murigi was the first person to ask him not to go back to the, the uh, offices of the, the county government of Samburu. Right. Because he, 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 she described the county government offices as a crime scene. And then the, the good governor moved to the high court mm. before Justice Honorable Mumbi Ngugi mm -hmm. and Honorable Mumbi Ngugi upheld the orders of Honorable Murigi. Yeah. And then they went to the court of appeal. Mm -hmm. And the court was consistent. And... A lot of people are frustrated with the judiciary because they expect the judiciary to turn into a lynching mob mm -hmm. where there is instant justice. Right. But you see, we are in a common law jurisdiction where parties come to court mm -hmm. and then they argue their matters before the judge, right. before the magistrate, so that the judge then pronounces himself or herself mm -hmm. based on the facts presented yes. and the law. So in my estimation, the judiciary has done extremely well mm -hmm. under very difficult circumstances.